California voters have passed Proposition 22. It classifies app-based drivers for companies such as Uber and Lyft as independent contractors rather than employees. 58% of voters were in favor of Prop 22. And that result was a big win for ride-sharing companies like Uber and Lyft. But as News Channel's Ryan Fish reports, the overall response has been divided. Here in Santa Barbara, David Brown drives 40 to 80 hours a week for both Uber and Lyft. And he's one of the 7 million plus who voted yes on California Proposition 22. For myself personally and for a lot of the drivers, the flexibility that stays with us is the important part. Now those app-based drivers can remain contractors and don't need to be considered employees. The road to victory paved with more than $200 million from rideshare and delivery app companies making it the most expensive measure in state history. I don't want tell them to tell me when I need to work or who I have to work for. That's not what I got, you know, went into this for. My joke is when I'm in the car that uh, when I want to uh, go on vacation, I put in a vacation request to myself and I accept it and I move on. The proposition also promises drivers a minimum earnings guarantee, new health care benefits and accident insurance. But not all drivers are celebrating. Prop 22 does not offer protections like workers' comp, unemployment insurance, or family and sick leave. The Central Coast Labor Council calls it a campaign of, quote, lies and deceit, unquote. Also telling us, quote, all drivers deserve a living wage, safe working conditions, and basic legal protections. Prop 22 will mark the beginning of this fight not the end. Brown says the companies still need to prove that Prop 22 will actually help drivers, not just the industry's status quo. Once a company gets what they want, how will it ultimately benefit the people that are you know, working as self-employed um, self people? In Santa Barbara, I'm Ryan Fish, News Channel 3.